Hi everyone, it's me Riddick, and I am joined by Jamie. No one. Yeah. Listen, um, I made a video a while ago about how I have really great and crazy lucid dreams, and I've been keeping a dream journal since March of this year. So I've decided to tell you guys about some of my craziest dreams. But first, I want to start off by telling you this dream that I had when I was in Vietnam during a school trip, where I dreamed basically I was on the streets of New York City, and I turned around and I was no longer in the United States of America, but rather the Imperial Dynasty of America. And I pinched my nose shut and tried to breathe through it because I had a feeling this was a dream and I found out I could breathe through my nose, which meant it was a dream. Then I'm like, all right, cool. I'm in a lucid dream. I'm going to summon in a werewolf. So I summoned in a werewolf, but unfortunately it only moved at 30 frames per second because it was a bloodborne werewolf. What a shame. <laughs> but anyways... That showed me that actually I still do have the ability to lucid dream that I used to do a few years ago. So after that, I started recording all of my dreams. And some of them are lucid, some of them aren't. So I will talk about the ones that are and aren't, but let's go. So this happened in March. And I dreamed that I was in the accountant's office at my school. And I was trying to work out something printer card related. And out of nowhere, she just asked me if I was Welsh. And I was like, no, I'm not. And the technician there said, you know, he looks like an American to me. And then he started celebrating when I told him he was right. Good for I him. mean, of course. Good for him, I guess. The second dream, I dreamed that when I was younger, I used to have another sibling, but he drowned in the beach and died. And I never knew about it. And I just found out. Jesus. That's a dark. Yep. Well, I'm going to skip past this dream because I don't feel like telling you guys about it. <laughs> okay, next dream. Uh, I get back my... On a scale of 1 to 10, how NSFW is it? It's not NSFW. It's just that some of these dreams just don't suit the tone or the purpose of this video. Uh, oh, no. Right. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, parts of this dream do. And okay, you find, it, find it, about a dead brother fit the tone? It's... Essentially that some of these dreams involve uh, dynamics between some people uh, I know in real life that are like specific to fully understanding the dream. So, well, yeah, I have a younger brother, but I just dreamed I had another brother that died in a pool uh, that's, yeah. that's, or, or a beach, rather. Right, another I dream. understand. No. Yeah, you get it. You get it. Yes. You understand. Okay. Another dream. I'm just going to tell you parts of some dreams. I'll tell you the whole dreams for others. There was a hotel room and there was a gun in the room. And I grabbed the gun and I just fired out all the bullets. And the kid next to me was like, why did you do that? Uh, also in the dream, I dreamed that I had my own car and apartment. And I was going to get a job interview with McDonald's for some reason. Because, you know, that's my dream since the beginning. All right. Can we I like this next dream. I get back my physics test and I have not done well. Is that it? <laughs> That's it. That's all I wrote. <laughs> Next dream. We have a physics test at school, but for some reason we enter Ornstein and Samo's boss room and Quaylog is there. And then there's something big in the corner of the room which I kill and it looks like a lizard. Then... Like my... a crystal lizard? No, it just looks like a lizard. I don't remember. This was a few months ago. Oh, it's... It... Yeah. I don't remember. I just I can just tell you what I wrote here. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. So I also remembered we were all supposed to bring in a plastic bag to our game session at school on 27th of March or March 27th, as people from Burgerland say. Uh, I dreamed that I brought this kid from school's plastic bag, and he was just so mad at me. And I brought football boots, which didn't fit me. And then um, I dreamed what that kind of football? Soccer. Uh. I call it football because my school is British. Um, next dream. There's this local mall called Ibn Battuta Mall here in Dubai. And, um, I mean, Dubai is not super uh, it's, it's not super conservative, but you would not expect the next dream to have happened, with, which was a Jewish man was doing a presentation in one of the theaters of, at Ibn Battuta Mall, uh, at the theater there. But the whole floor was just covered with water. Then I had a dream about red letter media 
and I visited Candylicious, which is in another shopping mall and is one of the biggest candy malls and the candy shops in the world. I also dreamed that the uh, wannabe president Alexandra Ocasio Cortez's real name was Alexandra Ocasio Vortex. <laughs> okay, next next dream. Is there any more context to that, by the way? No. I just dreamed that that was her name, and I don't I don't even remember the context of it. Okay. Next dream, I dreamed that we were at some kind of family's house, and I was really tired. I was so tired, I couldn't even stand. So my mom was like, oh, you know, he's not, he's not like this in real life. He's only like this in dreams. And I was like, what am I dreaming? So I pinched my nose and I breathed through it for the reality check, and I found it is a dream. So I'm like, okay, so I'm in my bed now. And I look up and I see like trees and branches on my roof. And I'm, I'm trying to get up in the dream, but I guess that's You've like- You've got an assist on that one. I guess it's like, yeah, I know they were really, she was really kind to me in the dream. I was trying to like figure out how I could get out of my bed or something to continue the process of the dream, but I couldn't, so I just woke up for real. Then I fell back to sleep and I woke up that one of the, I, I, I just fell back to sleep and then I woke up thinking it was real life, but it was the dream. Uh, and then I was just taken to the next part of the dream during which I didn't know it was a dream. And I dreamed that one of the teachers at my school asked me if I stole some plant over the weekend. Because everyone was saying that I stole the plant. I also dreamed that Did I was you? drop attacking the Sekiro, the, the Sekiro guardian ape. <laughs> Don't be silly, you can't drop attack the guardian ape. I know, right? It's ridiculous. Um... There was a tiger in my dream. I was trying to hide from it. Like, that's the next dream. Oh, yeah. This feature is none other than my friend. Short sweet. This feature is Jamie. I dreamed that Jamie and I were playing Minecraft, but the Yogs cast. <laughs> Remember them? We're there. And we found a stronghold, and there was an end portal there. And I just have a comment here. This is a lame lucid dream. Like, it was... I guess I could tell it was lucid or something. All right. Okay, the next dream is not appropriate. <laughs> the next one is straight up not safe for work. Um, Can we have a little a little taste? You want me to get raunchy? Um, no, no, just... Okay. Well, I flew out of my window, and because I realized it was a lucid dream, basically, and I flew out of the window, and then I was um, standing on the road, and I decided I wanted to take myself to a really fun location, but I couldn't do it. Oh, okay. That's basically that. It was a lucid dream, but uh, I, I guess, yeah, it's, it's significant that I had a lucid dream where I managed to actually levitate above my bed and fly out of the window, which is not something many people get to achieve, so that's good. I mean, that's not something I do in day-to-day -day life, so... Mm-hmm. All right. So I dreamed in the next dream that... I was in a car singing the song Cult of Personality by A Living Color. Um, I also dreamed that one of the teachers at my school was making a list of our names and it had my friend's name on it and she thought I was Italian. I don't know why she thought I was Italian. Oh, it's because my last name's also an Italian name. That must have been why. Um, Are you learning a lot about yourself now? Yeah, and this is a dream. This isn't even real life, so I'm trying to like go through like dream logic. <laughs> All right. I dreamed I was in a plane, uh, and my brother was playing "Where's My Water" on his phone, and then the plane stopped because it was part of Vietnamese law that the plane had to stop in order for people to board it or something. I also dreamed that I blew um, up. Wait, people had to stop in order to board it. No, no, no. The plane I think had that to is stop. standard procedure. The plane had to stop for people to board it, Jamie. What do you mean? I don't know. This is I don't I don't get it. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say, do you, have you been on a flight where you, the plane just whizzes past and you have to jump on? <laughs> <sighs> All right, we'll we'll end this video with. I dreamed that. Oh yeah. I also, I don't know if I, did I say I dreamed I bought a PlayStation Two for ten dollars. That was the next part of my dream. Okay, the final dream, I dreamed that my grandpa was having me collect all of the food people had eaten at his house and put it inside the house, like put it inside the kitchen, I guess, which is something that I do anyways, it's just part of the dream. So next week, we will continue with some of my dreams during April of, I say this year, it's 2020, last year.
All right, see ya.